Hello and welcome to this Chaos Control Cloud Explainer video for setting up a big commerce channel. This video is going to fall into three sections. Uh, first of all, we're going to look at creating a new big commerce channel in your Chaos Control Cloud application. Secondly, uh, we're going to look at linking that big commerce channel up with your big commerce store via the API key that you've defined or will define. And then thirdly, we'll look at making that big commerce channel in Chaos Control Cloud work with regards to matching uh, products and orders on import and make sure that you're delivering the level of service to your big commerce customers that they expect and that you want to deliver. So let's create a new channel. We'll nip into our channel screen, hit the new channel button, say yes, and then we need to select big commerce from our drop down value set. If you've seen any of our videos for things like Shopify or setting up a WooCommerce channel, etc., this is all going to look eerily familiar. Uh, if you haven't been here before, uh, I'll crack through just so that you're in the loop. So we need to give our channel a name. Um, I'll be wonderfully generic with this one. So we need to define our import options. Uh, the first of these is the order ref format. Uh, so this isn't the reference that BigCommerce give you. Uh, it's the reference that Chaos Control Cloud creates every time it creates an order from BigCommerce via import. Um, you can define a suffix or a prefix uh, for all your big commerce orders. So for example, we could say we want all of our Chaos Control Cloud order codes for BigCommerce to be prefixed with BC. Uh, as long as you keep the squiggly brackets in the zero, uh, then you can prefix or suffix with whatever set of characters you like. Um, this allows you, if you're dealing with orders from Amazon or eBay or with a whole range of different marketplaces, it's a really quick and easy way of identifying which channel and orders come from when you're looking at a whole list of orders. Secondly, we've got our use generic customer setting. So when you're working with a marketplace, especially that doesn't want to share customer data with you, so for example, Amazon, um, you need to have a generic customer in Chaos Control Cloud to put the orders against. Um, Channels like WooCommerce, BigCommerce, Shopify, so online selling channels, don't generally have that imitation. Uh, so the use generic customer option isn't normally relevant. And certainly in this instance, we're going to leave it off. Don't import orders uh, is a really important option, especially at this point in the process. So at the minute, we're configuring and testing and configuring and doing more testing for our channel to make sure it's going to work in the way we want it to. We need to have don't import orders switched on as it is at the moment. And what that means is that Chaos Control Cloud will let you check what you're doing. It'll tell you how things are going to react, uh, but it won't actually do anything in anger, either with Chaos Control Cloud or with your big commerce uh, admin panel. So once you're happy that the integration is set up properly and is going to work as you'd expect, then you can turn this off. But until that point, leave it on. The stock description and order date drop downs allow you to define whether Chaos Control Cloud is going to use its own descriptions and the current date on import, or whether it's going to pull those elements uh, from big commerce. So we've got our import options defined. Next, we've got our channel specific options. So this is where we're going to have to use our big commerce admin panel in concert uh, with our Chaos Control Cloud application in order to populate the key data that tells Big Commerce that we've got permission to talk to your specific store. So you can see there are four pieces of information that are required. Um, if you want further detail on how to get this data um, and, and what it means and everything else, uh, please refer to our channel setup guide. If you don't have a copy of that, contact uh, our account management team and they'll be more than happy to share that with you. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to run through how we grab these four pieces of information from your big commerce admin panel. Um, so you'll notice from the tabs at the top that I already have that open. Uh, so if I go to advanced settings and then into API accounts, um, you can see that I've already got an API account set up for Chaos Control Cloud. Now, as with uh, WooCommerce, if anyone saw that video, Big Commerce is very similar in terms of when you generate an API uh, connection in your admin panel, you've only got one opportunity to capture all of the critical data that we need in order to link Chaos Control Cloud with Big Commerce. So, as with the WooCommerce video that we did uh, previously, I'm going to create myself a new test Chaos Control Cloud API account in here uh, just so I can show you all of that information being gathered. So we need to give the account a name that's sensible to us. Could be anything from your perspective. I've called it Chaos Control Cloud Test 2 just for the sake of originality. Uh, the second thing we've got here is the API path. Um, so this is important for two reasons. Firstly, this is the unique path to the BigCommerce API for your store. Uh, and secondly, you're going to need this specific store reference later on. Um, you can grab it now or I can show you how to grab it later on. Uh, 
it comes back in the text file that BigCommerce gives us with all of our key data. So I'm going to get it at that point. The next thing we need to do is make sure that we've specified all of our OAuth scopes. So what these are, are the different methods in the API. So the different elements of BigCommerce's toolkit that we want to talk to from Chaos Control Cloud. So we need to set customers, orders, order transactions and products to modify. And that means that you're giving Chaos Control Cloud permission to talk to all those elements of the BigCommerce API and to make changes in your store. Okay, so once we're happy with this and all's good to go, we click on save uh, and two things happen. Firstly, down the bottom left hand corner, uh, you'll see that a text file pops up. Um, obviously, I'm using Chrome, so other browsers may behave differently. So if we open that and show in folder, um, that's opened off the video, but I'll uh, open it up in Notepad and bring it across for you. We've got a Notepad file here with all of our key data. It doesn't format it beautifully, uh, but you can see that we get given the access token, the client secret, uh, the client ID the name, and that API path I was talking about earlier. We also have all of that data in this dialogue here. So if you want to, you can just copy from the dialogue. Uh, as Big Commerce highlight we mentioned before, this is the only chance you get to access this information. If you lose it or delete it or anything else, you've just got to create a new API key for Chaos Control Cloud in your Big Commerce admin panel. That's not the hardest thing to do in the world, and it's not a disaster if you do do that. It's just a bit of a faff. So we want to make sure that our um, Big Commerce API credentials saved down. Uh, again, as with WooCommerce and Shopify and the rest of them, you want to make sure they're nice and secure. Uh, again, I'm not pixelating this because I'm going to delete this key after I've created the video. Uh, so please don't worry about the fact that you can see all this lovely uh, API secret key data. Let's close uh, BigCommerce down. Uh, we'll close that dialog down and then go back to Chaos Control Cloud. So let's get our channel specific data set. First things first, the store ID. So as we mentioned before, this is the element of your API path that refers exactly to your store. OK, so always comes after the slash of stores and before the slash for version three. So we'll copy that and slap that into the store ID field. We then want to make sure we put in client ID, client secret, and the access token. There we go. So we've set up our general settings for the channel in terms of our import and naming. We set up our specific settings for the channel in terms of the big commerce API we're going to be talking to on your behalf. That's all good. The last section of this video is going to cover how we set up our generic matching. So you want to match your orders on import so that we know which products on big commerce have been sold in Chaos Control Cloud. And we want to set up um, our default behavior on import so that the level of service we want to offer the customer is nice and clear in Chaos Control Cloud without any manual intervention. So to set up the product matching, as we have with all of our other channels, uh, we use this central section of the channel screen here to define uh, that process. So we're still in edit mode, uh, and I'm going to hit new so I can set uh, up a barcode type for big commerce to match on import. So click on our drop down, say barcode code. We're going to select our big commerce SKU uh, from the same drop down. Okay, so what we're telling Chaos Control Cloud here is on by default we're going to match on product code on import and then as a fallback uh, we're going to match on our big commerce SKU barcode type um, so if you were matching on other barcodes uh, the other ref that's stored in chaos control cloud you could add that into the mix uh, and we can move as we have in the other videos we can move these elements up and down the hierarchy just by using the move up and down buttons uh, above the grid awesome so the last section as we talked about are setting out specific group values for how we want orders for the big commerce channel to be handled on import. Uh, so as with Shopify and WooCommerce, there's only one element here, uh, it's our global settings. Um, if you've been using Amazon or eBay and Chaos Control Cloud, you'll be, you'll be relieved it's a lot more simple. So we can set up our default site, classification, courier and sales source on import. Uh, and I'll run through each of these in turn just to make sure it's nice and clear uh, what's occurring. So by setting the default site on import for a big commerce order, uh, we're telling Chaos Control Cloud which physical stock control site we're going to fulfill the order from. So by default, we're going to leave that as the main site. Um, if you did physically have a separate fulfillment center for big commerce, you'd want to change this. Uh, secondly, we've got our company classification, which I'm going to leave as retail. But if you wanted to segregate your big commerce customers out, uh, obviously feel free to do so at this point. Um, the default courier uh, for our big commerce orders, I'm going to set to be DHL in this instance. Uh, again, whatever courier is going to deliver the level of service you've promised uh, on your big commerce website is the one to select by default here. 
And last but not least, we've got sales source. So as big commerce is operating as our uh, website in this instance, I'm going to specify that as an internet slash web order. So our channel is configured. If we hit save, we'll get our warning in terms of the channel's functionality needing to be activated. Um, so when you get this warning, you need to have a chat with our support team. They're a lovely bunch of coconuts and you can reach them on support at chaoscloud.com. Uh, this step just gives us and you a chance to sense check what's been set up uh, to make sure that you're not going to hit any issues uh, with regards to the way you're using BigCommerce's API or the way in which Chaos Control Cloud is being impacted by the orders you're bringing down. So we say yes, we hit continue, job done. Uh, I hope you enjoy using uh, your big commerce channel integration. Uh, if you have any feedback for us uh, or you have any questions, please do get in touch. Thank you.